Yeah. Do you, Andy, do you have anything that was like surprising to you that, that first week oh. or even later? Yeah, the my commute went down significantly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was surprisingly, no. Um, it wasn't too surprising. Honestly, for me, it wasn't that surprising. In the previous job that I had, I was, I'd been working remote already for about two years. So for me, it was like, okay, I, I've been doing this remote. And then I had a couple months of not doing things remote. I was coming into an office and then we're right back to remote. So to me, it was just like, okay, sure. Let's just go do this. Like, no problem. Um, surprising for me, though, I think is I, I have to agree that that feeling of community being there still. I mean, it's kind of hard. Like, yes, I can see your faces and all that, but I'm, I'm looking at a screen. I'm looking at a computer and that can be, you know, a little tough, but surprising to me was how quick all of us found different ways to make sure we stayed in contact with one another and to continue to collaborate even outside the classroom. So normally like maybe some of us would spend some time in the morning beforehand talking about code before the classroom would open up and maybe would stick around for a couple hours after and we all still found ways of doing that, even though the Zoom room wasn't open, like we'd open up Discord or we'd talk on Slack or we'd call each other and we'd still be doing the exact same thing, but, you know, but with social distancing applied. And it was just really cool. Like, I think that was the most surprising part is to see the resilience of that still. Yeah, I agree. That's great. Chi, did you have anything that stood out to you? Um, I... So the thing that like stood out to me is like how well you guys organized it honestly from a chaotic <laughs> situation and how well we transitioned I feel like this was part of the program like okay this is week seven now you're gonna go remote like now to learn remote technologies for your life like I thought it was kind of great like when I heard it like I remember thinking instantly like this is bad but then to like rethink about it like no we're just going remote like Remote work is actually really popular. I have a lot of friends in consulting that do a lot of tech, like remote work all the time. I'm like, this is actually pretty normal. And then to think even more to it, I still do contract work for the oil field and that's 100% remote since I'm in San Diego and they're in North Dakota. So like, it wasn't a huge shock to me, but how fast you guys set everything up from admin side and how like well it, everything has worked i mean all the systems you guys set up already like slack channels um our github classroom like everything was so structured already that this transition really wasn't that hard for us as students i'd say yeah that was something that i think we leaned into that we were like this is this is a skill especially now that's going to be really useful so like how can we add that to your your resumes and the things that you're learning to be better remote developers, for sure. Agreed. What about you, Rudy? Yeah, I, 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 th I very much echo everything that's been said already, for sure. I mean, you know, for better or worse, I think really for better, the, 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 what, what's really happened in the world recently was pushing everyone to more remote work. Um, and this is, this is going to be the new normal uh, with remote work and it already kind of existed very much so in the tech industry, uh, the, the adaptation of, of working remote. Um, but I, you know, we're, we're definitely looking at the glass, you know, full, half full um, in terms of learning this new skill set of being able to, you know, work remotely, which is a crucial skill, especially in the tech industry. And, um, you know, we, we already like our our Git flow is super on point right now, which is incredible, which we really probably wouldn't be using as much necessarily, but we're doing that in overdrive right now, which is, you know, top five skill that a, a new developer should have. And we're really developing that skill in spades. So it's, it's been good. It's been really good. That's great. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was a learning curve for us as well. Cause we, I, I mean, we weren't a remote company, you know, and so from, our perspective also from the administrative part, we had to like figure out that part also, like how do we as a team work together? And, and you know, so it was kind of this weird balance of like making sure you guys are okay. And then also, wait a second, we have this whole business we have to run to. Um, so yeah, but we did like leaned into a lot of the tools that we knew um, developers were using and we we're really fortunate to have a lot of really great, um, companies and what was really exciting to me was that you know as we were going into um, the internship process 
uh, and bringing internship companies in to present to you guys and things like that, we did have um, some drop off of some, a couple of companies that had said, yeah, we're going to do it. And then, you know, all this stuff happened. And it was mostly the ones that weren't working remote before and were all of a sudden working remote that were like, I don't think we can take interns right now. What was exciting was that we then, there were all these other companies that were open to uh, remote work that we hadn't worked with before that was really exciting to kind of bring them on 